Hey Lashistas, my name's Ryan and I'm going to show you how to color and correct using these specially formulated eyelash extension compatible Extreme Lashes and Joe Maselli Cosmetics. With as busy as we are today, I can go to work, go to the gym, even do hot yoga and my makeup and lashes will still look great. Let me show you what I love about each product and how you can simplify your beauty routine using these high performance, long lasting and low maintenance products. In this tutorial, I'll show you how I created this look using the Jo Maselli Skin Renewing Concealers and the Extreme Lashes Glide Shadow Long Lasting Eyeshadow Sticks, Glide Liner Long Lasting Eye Pencils, Lash Densifying Liquid Eyeliners, and the Length and Volume Mascara. All of these products are what Jo Maselli calls Cosmeceuticals. They treat and rejuvenate while correcting and coloring. That's the great thing about Extreme Lashes and Jo Maselli Cosmetics. Each cosmetic product has additional benefits, whether for the skin, lashes, or hair follicles. And with every formula, we aim to combine the best ingredients from science and nature at the highest concentrations to achieve maximum efficacy, as well as nourish, rejuvenate, and extend your beauty. These are the key principles of Extreme Lashes co-founder, president, and CEO, Joe Maselli. As a registered nurse, she also brings the lash extension industry holistic, health-conscious cosmetic, application, and aftercare products to make you look and feel great. Let's get started with the makeup application. First, I'll be using the Jo Maselli Skin Renewing Concealer. This comes in several different shades, and I'll be using the three shades that best match my skin tone. I like to start off by applying the neutral shade in a series of dots and swatch smudges on my face in different areas, blending as I go while the product is still workable. Just like with any cosmetic, it can be difficult to blend when the product is dry. The Jo Maselli Skin Renewing Concealer was formulated not only to cover and conceal, but to rejuvenate your skin based on a holistic philosophy, corrective prevention, and youthful radiance. I'll just gently tap and work this product into my skin going along my hairline and above my brows as I work my way towards the other side of my face. Look at that nice even coverage. You can notice already how well the product is already covering up any redness or blemishes that I have along my face. You'll wanna use gentle tapping movements so that way you're really pressing this product into any fine lines and wrinkles. I really want to focus on areas that have blemishes, fine lines, or wrinkles since it's like a cosmeceutical with all of the benefits it has to offer. The Liposomal Complex Delivery System transfers carnosine, milk thistle extract, and vitamin E, which results in smoother, plumper, and firmer looking skin. With this concealer, you're getting the instant gratification of luminous and radiant looking skin because care and color was developed to go hand in hand. That's why I like to use this on my entire face. Now just remember to gently tap the concealer into the skin and build it or layer it as needed. And don't worry too much about using the concealer close to your lashes since it's eyelash extension compatible. Since this comes in a few different shades, you can use the lighter shades to highlight like I'm doing right now. I'm gonna add the fair shade just in my T-zone area and underneath my eyes where my dark circles are most apparent. Redness, dryness, and blemishes are rehabilitated with Australian myrtle oil and German chamomile. Both ingredients have properties to soothe, hydrate, and heal blemishes. Counteract visible dark shadows, wrinkles, lines, and large pores and uneven skin tone with this concealer's sophisticated light diffusing pigments. This will give you a nice, youthful radiance that we all want. The great thing about this concealer, and really all the cosmetics I'm putting on today, is that I can eliminate all of the other makeup I would use that doesn't have skin treatments and aren't compatible with eyelash extensions, all while improving the overall look of my skin. A lot of concealers I've used in the past would only mask or cover up any imperfections. This one will actually help diminish them over the day. What's also great about these concealers is they're going to give you medium coverage and they're also long wearing and water resistant. They're also hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. 
to contour, I like to take mocha and neutral and mix them together. I'll do three parts neutral and one part mocha just so I can get that perfect shade to contour the areas around my face. Remember, you can mix any combination that you need to get the best shade for your skin tone. For me, I do three parts neutral and one part mocha. As a general guide, for any areas you wanna bring forward, use a lighter shade to highlight. Any areas you wanna slim down, use a darker shade to contour. So I'll just apply this from under my cheekbone, going from the outer corner of my mouth towards my ear, gently patting this into the neutral shade. Notice how I skipped my eye area? I'm actually going to use the glide shadow as a base to build on next. So I don't want this to appear too heavy, so you'll notice that I am working this into my skin a little bit more than I did with the neutral or the bare. I want this to look really natural. So as you can see, it really balanced out my skin and gave me a nice youthful looking appearance. I like to gently blend it underneath my chin so that way I don't have any harsh lines. I'm going to go right along my jawline and right below my ears and underneath my chin as well, that way I gently blend it directly towards my neck. And then for that sun-kissed look, I like to go right along my hairline, up at the top of my forehead. Perfect, you see how simple it was to do all three things using the same products, just in different shades? Now that I've applied the concealer as a foundation, I'm gonna use the Glide Shadow Long Lasting Eyeshadow Sticks on my eye area. These come in a ton of shades and finishes. Some are matte and some are satin. First, I like to start off with the nude and apply that all over my eyelid. When we get our eyelash extensions and apply eyeshadow, we typically get a lot of powder or fallout on our lashes. But the great thing about Glide Shadows is that that won't happen. So you don't have to worry about having any powdery fallout or having it smear all over your face. Once you put this on and give it some time to dry, it's going to set. It'll be long wearing and water resistant, so you don't have to worry about your eyeshadow getting messed up throughout the day. I'm using the Extreme Lashes Shader Brush just to blend it, but you can use any of the brushes we've designed that you prefer. Once I get finished applying this nude as a base, you'll notice I add a few more colors to achieve the look I'm going for. These glide shadows are five in one, so you can use them as an eyeshadow, an eyeliner, a base, or use the lighter shades to highlight and the darker shades to contour. They're also fully blendable and buildable, as you'll see throughout this video. Wow, what a difference. I don't wear a lot of makeup often, so seeing the difference really is impactful. There's a nice even base for me to start building more glide shadows on top of. Next, I'll use the matte sienna in the crease of my eyelids and blend it out with the blender brush. Now, I'm not a makeup artist, nor have I been trained on how to properly apply makeup, but you'll see just how simple and easy it is to achieve great looks using these glide shadows. The easiest way to do your creases is to apply a V going directly over your crease and right along your lash line. Next, I'm gonna apply mahogany right over that sienna. And notice I go right along my lash line just like I did with the sienna. So that way I can have a nice thick line along my lashes. In addition to the matte nude, sienna, and mahogany, we also have it in caramel, chocolate, plum, and onyx. For satins, we have mauve, bronze, rose, and champagne. And remember, they're eyelash extension compatible. If you notice a glide shadow tip isn't as sharp or precise as you want it to be, then you can pop out the sharpener at the base of the barrel and gently twist it until you get a sharp point again. With the glide shadows, they blend easier if you apply more, so add more. It glides smoother if you use more product, even if it's a dark pigment, so don't worry about it. If you really want to define where your eyeshadow stops, don't use makeup remover. Take what you use as a base, for me, that's the Glide Shadow in Matte Nude, and draw a line from your lower eyelid going up towards your brow. This will give you a nice, clean look. 
Also, this is really gonna help fill in those crow's feet on the outer corner of the eye. Now, in the inner corner, I'm gonna draw an L going from my brow towards my inner corner and over my lash line with the satin champagne. This is going to help highlight the inner corner of the eye and cover up any dark circles. To do this, I'm using that same shader brush. If at any point you feel like you went a little too heavy and you need to lighten it up, you can use any of the lighter matte or satin shades and add it to the darker areas which will help soften those tones. And to transition this better towards my sienna and mahogany, I'll apply the satin bronze in a smaller L shape next to the champagne. I'll just use that blender brush to blend all of the shades together. So the glide shadows and primer are formulated with vitamin E, which acts as an antioxidant, vitamin C, which helps with dark circles, and ceramides, which moisturize. But the primer also has sodium hyaluronic and panthenol, which is known for its hydrating and moisturizing properties. I didn't use the primer because my dry skin doesn't need it. But if you have normal to oily skin, then you'll want to use that first. And I don't know about you, but I feel safer knowing that they're also hypoallergenic and dermatologists and ophthalmologists tested. Look at how awesome that looks and how easily it was achieved using the glide shadows and the brushes together. Now that I'm finished with the glide shadows, I'm gonna apply some eyeliner using the Glide Liner Long Lasting Eye Pencils, just to add some contrast and really make my eye color stand out. Just like the glide shadows, the Glide Liner comes in multiple shades and finishes. I'm starting with the Truffle Glide Liner in the outer corner of my eye going towards the inner corner. And I'm gonna do this by using short, precise lines just so I get a nice tight line right along my lash line. These are long lasting and do blend upon application, but they'll dry into a smudge proof finish. Just like our glide shadows, once they're set, they're set. They'll remove easily with our eye makeup remover and facial cleanser, which you can learn about by clicking on the info card. Notice how the silky smooth gel formula glides on gently and easily. You won't feel them tugging or pulling when you glide them on. They contain vitamin E, which is known for its antioxidant properties and maintaining healthy skin. They're also hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. Look at that comparison between my two eyes, one with and one without. Now just wait till you see how great it looks when I add the rose gold. With these eyelash extension compatible glide liners, if you need a precise tip, make sure you use our specially designed gel sharpener. Using any other sharpener will not sharpen the pencil and could actually end up damaging it. So with that rose gold, I'm gonna apply it from the inner corner going towards the outer corner and just overlap it on top of that truffle. Next, I'm just gonna apply a fine line of the truffle under my eyes and gently blend it using the angled brush towards my inner corner. And then I'll just blend that outer corner up into that glide shadow. Adding this simple detail is really gonna take your makeup application to the next level. Okay, seriously guys, this is the best I've ever done my makeup. I don't think it's ever looked this good before. Just a couple more products and I'll be done. The next thing I'm gonna do is fill in my brows. And a surprising product I like to use is the Lash Densifying Liquid Eyeliner. It comes in two different shades, the black and the brown, and it also has two different tips, a precision tip and an angle tip. Now I'm going to use the angled brush and gently apply some product to the tip. And with short feathery strokes along my entire brow, I'll mimic the look of real brow hair. 
Make sure you're only applying a little bit of pressure with light strokes. It'll add color and fill in gaps while holding brow hairs and shape in place. The Lash Gentifying Liquid Eyeliner doesn't suffer from flaking or buildup in your brows or along your lash line. And it's eyelash extension compatible, so you know you can safely use it by your lashes. It has the same hair nourishing peptides found in our Amplify Advanced Lash and Brow Fortifier, which will help your lashes and brows appear more fuller, longer, and youthful. It's also long lasting and smudge resistant, but it'll still remove easily with the Extreme Lashes Eye Makeup Remover and Facial Cleanser. I personally love that this is hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested. I don't really use any products that aren't nowadays. To complete the look, I just need to apply some eyelash extension compatible length and volume mascara to my lower lashes. Remove excess mascara from the tip of the wand. This mascara is perfect because I can be confident and won't clump, flake, or smudge with my eyelash extensions, which is perfect for me. I'm always wearing extensions and I need cosmetics that are eyelash extension compatible. It's known for its moisturizing and hydrating properties. If you're applying to the lower lashes like I am, you can cover them completely from base to tip and it'll wash off easily with water. You can apply multiple coats for a greater volumizing effect. All of these holistic cosmeceutical products can be purchased individually, but your local Extreme Lashes Lash Stylist has these in collections to save you money and help take the guesswork out of which cosmetics to use. Click here to learn how to properly remove these products and if you're wearing eyelash extensions, we'll show you how to properly cleanse and style to keep your extensions looking and feeling great. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to book your relash with your lash stylist to keep your lashes looking fabulous.